Most people would assume that a high school music teacher is the most likely to recognize the musical talent of teenagers. But in Brentwood, it was a school resource officer making that discovery. Garvin Thomas joins us with tonight's Bay Area Proud, a story about a police officer helping a group of teens uncover what? Their hidden talents? They had to uncover it and share it. Janelle and Jessica, you know, Michael Rucker says of all the jobs he's done as a police officer, school resource officer is his favorite. Perhaps it's the fact that Officer Rucker is the father of six himself, so that he relates so well to young people, even if the only language they have in common is music. Every band has its own origin story. The unique tale of how these people came to form this group. Who wants to hear Grupo LA play? For Brentwood's Grupo LA, well, their story is a little different than most. Brought together, not by a music producer, but by a caring cop. I want to do something special for them. They're just good kids, and I, I wanted to do something. We'd hang out all kind of right here. Officer Michael Rucker is the school resource officer for Liberty High School. Earlier this year, he learned a group of Liberty's English language learners were being harassed after school at their local bus stop by gang members. Officer Rucker knew just what to do. I said, look, I'll just go to the bus stop with you guys. If, if I'm there, there's going to be no problems. So like every day for like three weeks, we'd walk from the quad. We'd all get together and then walk to the bus stop. I'd hang out for about 20, 30 minutes, get to know them. They'd teach me some Spanish words and tell me what they're doing for the weekend. And all great kids. So this is a classroom we use. For all. In fact, Officer Rucker was so impressed with the kids, he wanted to do even more for them and hatched a plan. He plays guitar and so asked their teacher if any of them were musicians. She calls me an hour later. She's got a list of these names. She's like, all these kids, these are the instruments they play. I'm like, oh, okay. So they're coming Monday for our first meeting. I'm like, oh, okay. It was the birth of Grupo LA, or Group L, for Liberty. What started as small lunchtime jam sessions grew and grew. Soon, other students were stopping by just to listen. The band members gaining enough confidence to play their regional Mexican music for their families and then the entire school. All the while, Officer Rucker witnessing boys who were once isolated and kept to themselves being embraced by the entire school community. They're like lively now and they're excited and, they're, and it's, it wasn't like that before, laughing and boisterous and they have like this confidence now. It's, it's pretty amazing. Band members noticed the change too. Eso nos ayudó porque... It helped us because it distracted us from the problems outside, Roberto says. Helped us to focus more on school and classes. <laughs> and now you can find Grupo LA playing gigs all over town. Whatever money they make, put into a fund for their college. <laughs> Bringing joy to those who gather around and a warm feeling to the one who gathered them together. And it's not just the school, but the entire community that's gotten behind Grupo LA. At their most recent concert outside Chill Tea and Coffee in Brentwood, the group got a check for $2,000 from local businesses to help wow. them buy more instruments. That's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah, and it wonderful. And I should add, you know, he's a school resource officer, so there's this wonderful thing with the music. There was the part about the gang members, and that was the other part of his job. They were from a different high school. Yeah. And so he worked with the school resource officer from that high school, got in contact with him, and they got that situation oh, taken care of. And all they have to focus on now is the music. And I also oh, think it's a great, great for those kids also to be able to look at someone that's in law enforcement and see them as an ally that's instead yeah. of, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes always seeing them as the person that's, you know, going to... Lock yeah. you up or something. And that's, you know, change of the dynamic. a school resource officer at their best is yeah. someone who does that. Exactly. Yeah. Who, who does mm -hmm. the job, but also transmits that image that, hey, here, I'm somebody you can trust, somebody you can work with, somebody you can play guitar with. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's really cool. That yeah. is cool. Thanks so much, Garvin. Thanks.